We are back with more What's Now. Top Dog is a brand new series. It's all about dogs competing with each other as well as family dogs who are the underdog who get to compete with these professional dogs. Looks like a lot of fun. I hope you'll tune in. Here's more right now. This is Christine Napier from Park Street Television, and today I have the honor of speaking with Kurt Menefee all about America's Top Dog. It is premiering today. Great season for us. Kurt, thanks for talking with us. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. So tell me a little bit about this season. Well, you know, America's Top Dog is basically American Ninja Warriors for dogs. So if you like dogs and you like competition, this is a show for you. Five dogs start each and every episode, four of which are from law enforcement agencies all around the country, including, I think, a couple of episodes. We have dogs from Utah and police departments there. But each episode also has one dog from the show Live PD. So people will know that canine. They will know the, the police officer. A lot of people will. Um, but the fifth dog in each episode is a civilian dog, which we call the underdog. So often that turns out to be a family pet that's been trained to do an obstacle course type event. Um, but, you know, you see all different types of breeds, from shorty bulldogs, we've got even those, uh, to pointers, to, to border collies. And, and so you get to see them compete in a timed uh, obstacle course. Some places they've got to jump over a, a wall. Some places they've got to swim. Some places they've got to sniff out different items around the house. And so you get to see them do a variety of tasks, all playing beat the clock, going from five down to one in each episode to be titled Top Dog for that one. And at the end of the season, we bring back winners and we crown America's Top Dog. The underdog, that yeah. really caught my attention. I love it. So th these are just more regular family dogs yeah. that are competing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, look, it, it's a train, uh, excuse me, it's an obstacle course. So a lot of these dogs have been in training because they compete in different obstacle course type events all around the country. So, you know, they know how to jump when necessary and they all get a chance to do it uh, right on camera for us. And so I, I love that because I think it, it, it helps show you that it doesn't matter really the breed of dog you have at home. If you're willing to put in the work or, or, or the effort, uh, most dogs can be trained to do just about anything. Uh, and I think part of what the show shows is not only that, but about the relationship between the people and the dogs because they have to go through the course together. And there's a bond that you can see that that owner has with the dog. And it's unbelievable how it translates in a nonverbal way. You know, sometimes you got to look at a dog and kind of coax it into doing something. Or sometimes the dog will look at you and like, hey, what's taking you so long to get here? You know, those types of things. So I, I think it does a really good job of doing that with the civilian dogs. And also, I, I think even with the police dogs, it shows a lot about the relationships there as well. Well, dogs are impressive athletes. They're very yeah. disciplined, mm -hmm. very focused. You know, I think we can learn a lot from them, actually. Yeah, you, you, you really do. And I, I think a lot of the dogs will show you quite a bit about the, the, the will and the spirit that they have. Because we've got a couple of dogs. One of our police dogs um, was chasing a bad guy, jumped off an embankment, fell 30 feet, wound up getting a lacerated kidney, got a purple heart, but wound up eventually going back to work and now is competing on our show. Uh, we have a, a, one of our civilian dogs who suffered a, a, a severe uh, reaction to a tick bite, was paralyzed for a while. The dog fought its way back, now competing on a show like this. But it shows you just about, I don't think it's just a human trait. You know, there's an inner ability, there's an inner strength that all animals have. And you get to see that on exhibit here. Not only these dogs fighting back from adversity, but as they go through this course and they get to a spot that maybe they're not comfortable doing or not used to doing, you know, we have dogs that have to swim in a pool that are from places where there's no water. Now, they obviously can swim and they've done it before, but sometimes it takes a little bit of extra to get them in, and sometimes that means the police officer has to jump in the water to get the dog to do it or whatever, but you get to see that dog overcome that and the bond between the human and the dog, I, I think, is something that we rarely get to see in exhibit. When you look at police dogs, it's so often about trying to find a bad guy or catch a suspect that you don't get to see them at play, having fun, and in a real relationship with their uh, police officer. Well, looking forward to watching this. How do you approach this differently from being a more traditional sports broadcaster? Well, I think if, if you look at it, when you do a game or you're talking about a sporting event you know, involving humans, uh, usually you're trying to stay neutral, you know, you just call it as you see it. With this show, all you do is root for every dog, <laughs> you know, so you wind up having five favorites with every episode because you're like, oh, come on, you can do that, you can get over that wall, and you know, that's a good boy, and so you wind up being excited about each and every dog, and so you pull for them in a way that I don't think you pull for a football team when you watch them when you're a commentator. So I, I think that's a major, major difference because these dogs all, it, it's funny, 
you're smiling and they're pulling at your heartstring at the same time. <laughs> well, I can't wait to watch. When can we see it? Wednesday nights uh, on A&E. You can check your local listings there. And it starts uh, this week. Perfect. Wow. Well, thanks so much, Kurt, for talking with us today. What an incredible show. Really, honestly, looking forward to checking out all of these top dogs. Thank you for having me.